We are uh, out for the night in Dotaburi, so we are um, having a proper look around tonight. We'll, we'll come in later. Dotaburi, and it's uh, a bad place. It's selfie heaven. It's selfie heaven, yes. But we're doing it. Here we are. So you're around. This is the big street where everyone's at. Okay, so in ever classic Japan style. I said okay so I've had to edit quite a lot over okay so's out um, we are the next street along from the clip that you last saw and it's absolutely peaceful there's hardly anyone down here um, Charles did a little bit of research uh, and this is basically the old school restaurant street um, and it's really really ornate a little piece just to show you something that we spot all the time that you would never have seen in the UK which is these things here but basically this is the public alarm system so if that light goes off and the stuff comes out of that speaker we're not going to know what's going on but they are everywhere they're in hotels they're in bars they're in restaurants they're just everywhere everywhere you go there's a public address system very well organized We've headed out of the tourist spot of Pontenburi and come to Shin Tenkai and as you can see behind us that's pretty mental and also this is quite mental it's a ship let's go and find the puffer fish so this is a less a less touristy area oh this is the one that you can pick your own fish I've heard about this you can you catch your own fish and then eat it how good would that be, Catwoods? So this is where we are. Um, it's much less populated, it's but it's quirky. absolutely no less quirky. So if we look over here, There's stuff over here. Yeah. so I wonder what this restaurant sells. I think probably turtle and other stuff, chicken. And there's a kind of quite a famous central point along here, which is this big fella coming up, which is the puffer fish. So let's have a quick look at the puffer fish, and then we'll get a picture around here. Here he is. So I guess this restaurant, this puffer, look at that place. That's amazing. And here's our puffer fish. So let's get a good image. Puffer fish with a wonderful tower in the background. We have found uh, a little restaurant. Cat, fa cat found this, sorry. Cat found this little restaurant. It's got some amazing food. But interestingly, I think they specialize here. Uh, back a page for the deep fried stuff. Another page back. Yeah, here. Just want to show you this stuff is so cheap. So this is, this is the speciality of the area. They're all deep fried sticks. And they, these are less than, this is like 80 p. So I'm just going to go bananas for this at the moment. The cat's probably going to have something like that, which is pork. Okonomiyaki. It's a pancake. Pork pancake. And then the restaurant's fuzzy. Um, but probably not quite as busy as it would have been in Dota and I'm glad we've come Okay, so I don't know how much of this you're going to be able to hear because it is super noisy in here um, but we've now got most of the food out if not eaten already but I'll just do a quick whiz around the table got my battery So this is my pancake 
and we've got octopus balls. We've got, we've got the ramen that Giles has just demolished, and a load of selection of deep fried goodies and sweet corn. We're going to try this one first. I don't know, oh, it's, it's hammy. I didn't dip. Got a dip. Once. <laughs> what we found? Fish. How, how did you get the fish here? Fish here. You fish. So you've got fishing rods and you fish for your fish. That's how you get your fish. If you want to eat in this restaurant, you're, cook, you've, you've, you're basically fishing for your meal. This is just, you can't, I can't give you an idea of the scale of how mad this is. So look, you've got a little fishing net and a little fishing rod just beside your it's quite empty in here at the moment um, and I think they, they've let us come in to film um, because it is quite empty but <laughs> it's even a little life jacket uh, for the kids so it's coming to the end of our first day in Osaka Whew, how are you feeling? Stuff. Tired. It's all that sounding. Stuffed and tired. tired. Stuffed and tired. So we are just in the uh, kind of not the central bridge, but the downtown bridge of uh, Dotenburi, um, and there's just awesome stuff going on still. It's still a lively, busy time of night um, for us. It's five to eleven. Uh, Cat wants to walk down by the lovely canal, um, which is quieter. And it's a good idea. So we're going to go and have a little walk by the canal. The cat can chill out. We can get away from the madness of the food heaven that is Dotenburi. Um, but it's still no let up at 11 o'clock at night. It's absolutely still bonkers. I'll probably say absolutely a lot of this. Yeah. Yes, don't I? Pablo, it's Pablo time! Pablo time! Okay, we're going to have something in Pablo. We don't know what. Hello! Hello! Hello. Something small. Uh, three something small, um, yes. Yeah. Can oh, can we have a nude Pablo? Yes, nude. So, can I have Pablo in the nude, please? Yes. Yes, one of those, yeah. Nude Pablo. Nude Pablo. Nude Pablo is 800. Yeah, it's worth every penny, honestly. Do you want to pay for Pablo in the nude? Cat is paying for Pablo in the nude. Wow. We're going to report back in a minute, Pablo. Pablo nude. Good. Pablo nudo. Just to end our tour of the day, a quick tour of the hotel room in Osaka. Take us on a tour, cat. Go. And stop. <laughs> 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 there's, you may have noticed, viewers, that there's a lot of, frankly, shit everywhere. <laughs> and the, the reason there is a lot of to everywhere is because we've got the smallest hotel um, room that we've had so far on our trip. Oh, I opened that one. It's not a bad thing. The bathroom is compact, excuse the duds. Um, it's just tiny but functional. It's functional, so we're not complaining too much. Are you complaining? No. No, no, it's all fine.